All right. So if you are a solopreneur and you're really busy and you're wondering how do you prioritize your, um, particularly those of you who have seen the capture categorized calendar uh, lesson, um, and you're like, oh my God, there's so many categories possible. What are a couple basic categories, George, that you recommend? And I'm just going to give you my my take on this. And you could take it and customize it to yourself. I'm not saying this is the the one right answer for all solopreneurs, but I think this is a productive answer. Okay. So what should if if you only had four categories, okay, in your capture categorized calendar, what should they be? Number one, Joy Pro. <laughs> not surprisingly. And I'm not just saying that because this this is being recorded for the Joy Pro program, but I really mean it. Like one of my um, buckets has always been how to improve my own systems, systems improvement. You might even call it like like that should be like we should be our you know our own client, right? Like we should be like looking at not just working in the business or in our job, but working on our business on our job. To make it even ever more efficient and more streamlined and more, um, I like to say, you know, Ida, uh, you eliminate as much as you can from your work. Eliminate. We have too many tasks. If we cannot eliminate, we automate as much as we can. Especially these days with AI and what's coming as AI agents, we'll be able to automate a lot of stuff that we cannot eliminate. Um, and then we can't uh, can't automate it. We delegate it. Well, we can't eliminate. We have to do this thing. This is, means has that much value. Okay, or that much risk, we don't do it. We can't automate it. Either we don't know how to do it, or it's not the technology is not there yet. Or if we can't automate it, then we have to delegate. It. Can we? Can someone else do this? Someone else on our team? Someone else we can hire? Can someone else do it? If we if we should not or cannot delegate it, for example, me making videos, I don't want to delegate that. It should be my energy signature coming through. Then we appreciate it. <laughs> can't eliminate. Can't automate it, can't delegate it, then we appreciate it. Then we bring our spirit word, our presence, our values, our virtues into doing the thing, whatever it is, whether it's even bookkeeping or whether it's making videos or whether it's meeting with clients or whatever, we do it as with as much presence as possible. So Joy Pro should be one of your categories. Anything, any ideas that come to you, anything you hear from me or from anybody else that comes to you, go, hmm, maybe I want to implement that idea to make my systems better. You should write that down so that during your calendar time for Joy Pro, you know, you might want to take out your list of Joy Pro ideas and go, hmm, I want to think about how do I implement that that concept or look into that software or whatever it may be. Okay. So Joy Pro, I think it's a very productive bucket if you're going to categorize your your tasks and and calendar them to make sure. Second one is um Particularly for those of you who want to build an authentic business over time, you would love to get paid doing what doing just what you love. Wouldn't that be nice? Get paid to talk about what you love talking about. Wouldn't that be nice? That's possible. It's called being an influencer, being a creator these days. I call it being an authentic business. So therefore, the second bucket should be authentic content marketing. Not surprisingly, I have a course and a book about that. Okay, <laughs> so if you uh, if you can't afford the course, buy my book, uh, five bucks uh, on Kindle, authentic content marketing. And thank you, buddy, for for that endorsement. He's off to buy the book, or he's, he's actually going to buy the course right now uh, and and study it. So authentic content marketing should be the second bucket because you have to start today if you want an amazing true fan audience in five years. It has to start today. When's the best time to, and someone just got, I think my wife just, I hope it's my wife who just got buddy and not some, some dog napper. Okay. So if you, if you want to plant a tree, when's the best time to plant a tree? You want a tree with abundant fruit. You should have done that 10 years ago, five years ago. I don't know how, how long trees take, depending on the tree. Same thing. If you want an audience that have just like, they just want to pay you to keep talking, to keep writing, to keep your art going, whatever. When should you have done that? Five, 10, 15 years ago. When's the second best time to do it? Like right after this call, right, right after you watch this video. Okay. So authentic content marketing, it's a lot of experimentation. You need to practice what I call public journaling. You can journal on your own, fine, whatever. But if you can journal publicly with your energy signature in service to your future true fan audience, you're thinking I'm doing this 
to connect, to resonate with the people who just can't help but fall in love with me just for who I am. My energy signature just resonates with them. My life story, whatever, just resonates with them. Perfect. Okay. Authentic content marketing, second bucket. You'd be putting your content ideas in that bucket. You should be putting your experimentation. What if I did, um, what if I did a YouTube short? Never did it before. Let me put that down on my list of things to try out. Trying out content formats, trying out lengths of your content, trying out content ideas, trying out editing techniques. If you want to do that, I don't do a video editing, but whatever. Authentic content marketing. Okay. Second bucket. Third bucket is authentic market discovery. Not surprisingly, I have a whole course about this, but whatever. Authentic market discovery is the process of talking to your audience. Right now, you say, well, George, I don't have an audience. No, no, you have an audience. The day you were born, you have an audience. Your parents okay, were there, or at least one of your parents were, were there. The day, or at least your mom was there, the day you were born, you had an audience of one or two or whoever else was gathered around. Everybody has an audience. Everybody has an audience. Even the hermit has an audience. Everybody has an audience. You start with whomever is in your audience, whomever, when you message them, write them, knows who you are. That's your audience. Okay. You start with your audience. Well, you, authentic market discovery is talking to your audience about their needs and their wants as related to your interests and your skills. Okay. That's it. I have a whole course that basically goes into just what I said. Talking to your audience about their needs and their wants, particularly as related to their buying patterns, the stuff they want to buy, the services they want to buy, the books they're buying, the retreats they're going to, the therapy that they're getting, if they're willing to reveal that to you, related to your, related to your interests and your skills. Because if they say, oh, I, I, I've been trying to do this in my life and I haven't found the right thing to, to help me with that, the right person to help me. Oh, I, that's actually what I love doing. And I've been studying this stuff for years. Can I help you out? You know, maybe you begin for free for like a couple sessions if you want to, if this is a new service for yours and you're beta testing it. All right, authentic market discovery. You can take my course deep dive or just take what I just said and do it. Okay, that's the third bucket. Any ideas you have, any people you should you want to talk to, any questions you want to ask, any method you want to do. Anyway, authentic market discovery, highly productive bucket for solopreneurs. The fourth bucket follows on perfectly with the third bucket. The fourth bucket is creating aligned offers. And I'm biased about this bucket because I'm literally teaching a class right now about creating aligned offers. So that's very much very fresh in my mind. But it's true. Like if you want to actually, you know, make money doing what you love or make money at all, you've got to sell something that people want to buy. And this is the problem with many solopreneurs is they sell stuff that people don't want to buy. And they're like, hey, George, I need to do better marketing. No, you don't need to do better marketing. You need to sell stuff that people want to buy. Step one, better marketing is not going to save you. Better content is not going to save you if you're still selling stuff that people don't want to buy. But I love it. I think people should buy. I know you think you, people should buy. I know your modality you think is wonderful, but they don't want to buy it. That's not their problem right now. Their problem is not, you're not, you're not solving their problem. You're not giving them an experience that they yearn for. You're not helping them reach a goal that they want. Your, your thing, your modality is not framed as solving their problem, helping them reach a goal they yearn for, having, giving them an experience that they can't wait to have. Your thing, your modality can be, can be framed in 10 different ways. You've got to learn to frame it in a way that is a door they want to walk through. So that's what Create Aligned Offers is about. It's like you start a bucket, to you, to putting ideas. Mm, what doorway? I, 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 I have this life coaching modality that I love. I studied it. I, I think everyone should do it. But no one cares about your life coaching modality. Sorry. Oh, life coaching to help them solve this problem that's really been keeping them up at night? Fine. Now they're interested. So the, the, that bucket for Creating Aligned Offers is step one. Take George's course. No. Uh, step two, um, brainstorm the different doorways into your modality. Your modality, don't, no one cares about it unless they studied it and want a fellow practitioner to hire to work with it. Fine. But most people don't care about your modality. The, the PhD, I don't care what you have. Certification, it doesn't matter. They are thinking about their problems. They're thinking about their, their goals. They're thinking about the experiences that they want. So creating aligned offers is about that. So that's a four, that, those are the four buckets. I just want to stop there because I think it's enough. If you just have those four categories for your capture categorized calendar, if you calendar those four categories, you will be 
spending time very productively and hopefully joyfully bring jo the joyful part of joyful productivity. Anyway, I hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing if you want to add any comments below.